everyone welcome to youtube channel learn with kizla in this video of exponents and radicals we are going to study about laws of rational exponents now similar to laws of exponents we have laws of rational exponents here the exponent is a rational number so now let's study one by one first law is the product of powers if x is any rational number and a and b are rational exponents then we can say x raised to power a into x raised to power b is equal to x raised to power a plus b that means whenever the exponents are multiplied we add the powers for example 2 upon 5 raised to power 3 upon 2 into 2 upon 5 raised to power 1 by 2 they are now added we can write 2 upon 5 raised to power 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 further we will take lcm and will solve and write 2 by 5 raised to power 4 by 2 which is equal to 2 by 5 raised to power 2 so whenever the exponents are multiplied we add the powers now we come to the second law that is the quotient of powers if x is any rational number where x is greater than 0 and a b are rational exponents then x raised to power a divided by x raised to power b is equal to x raised to power a minus b now let me explain with the help of example suppose we have 5 upon 7 raised to power 5 by 3 divided by 5 upon 7 raised to power 2 by 3 since it's it's a division of the exponents so now we will subtract the powers and we will write 5 upon 7 raised to power 5 by 3 minus 2 by 3 further we will solve and write 5 by 7 up raised to power 3 by 3 which is equal to 5 by 7 now the third law of exponent is power of power it says if x is a rational number and a and b are exponents then x raised to power a raised to power b is equal to x raised to power a into b which is equal to x raised to power b raised to power a so there are two powers over here a and b one is inside one is outside and if, even if we interchange them they are equal to x raised to power a into b now let me explain this with the help of example suppose we have 5 by 6 raised to power 3 by 4 raised to power further 2 by 3 so basically we will multiply the powers we will say 5 by 6 raised to power 3 by 4 into 2 by 3 which is equal to 5 by 6 raised to power half similarly if we take 2 by 3 inside and 3 by 4 outside we can write 5 by 6 raised to power 2 by 3 raised to power 3 by 4 further we will multiply the powers we will write 5 by 6 raised to power 2 by 3 into 3 by 4 and it is also equal to 5 by 6 raised to power half so even if we interchange a and b position inside and outside it remains the same now the fourth law of rational exponent is about power of a product it says x and y are greater than 0 and are rational numbers and a is a rational exponent then we can say x into y raised to power a is equal to x raised to power a into y raised to power a now let us take an example 64 into 27 raised to power 2 by 3 is equal to 64 raised to power 2 by 3 into 27 raised to power 2 by 3 so basically the power has been distributed between the two numbers in the base that is 64 and 27 we can prove that by taking left hand side and right hand side separately so let us first start with left hand side we have two numbers 64 into 27 raised to power 2 by 3 further we will solve 64 into 27 that is 1728 raised to power 2 by 3 now 1728 is 12 cube so 3 and 3 will get cancel and we are left with 12 square which is equal to 144 now we shall solve right hand side we will write 64 raised to power 2 by 3 into 27 raised to power 2 by 3 is equal to 4 cube into 2 by 3 into 3 cube into 2 by 3 as 64 was equal to 4 cube and 27 was equal to 3 cube now further 3 and 3 in both the brackets will get cancel and we are left with 4 square into 3 square which is equal to 16 into 9 is equal to 144 
So we can say left hand side is equal to right hand side. Now the fifth law of rational exponent is related to power of a quotient. If x and y greater than 0 are rational numbers and a is a rational exponent, then it says that x upon y raised to power a is equal to x raised to power a upon y raised to power a. Now let me explain with the help of example. Suppose we say 16 upon 81 raised to power half. That means half will be distributed between 16 and 81 and we will write 16 raised to power half upon 81 raised to power half. This can be proved by taking left hand side and right hand side separately. So let's start with left hand side first. We will write 16 upon 81 raised to half. Further we will write 4 square upon 9 square raised to power half. Then 4 upon 9 raised to power 2 into half is equal to 4 by 9. And right hand side we will take them separately. We will write 16 raised to power half upon 81 raised to power half is equal to 4 square in raised to power sorry 4 square into half upon 9 square into half further 2 and 2 will get cancelled and we are left with 4 by 9. So we have proved left hand side is equal to right hand side. Now the sixth law of rational exponent is the negative exponent. It says when x is raised to power minus m upon n it is equal to 1 upon x raised to power m upon n. That means the negative power has become positive when we take the reciprocal of the base. For example, if we have 5 raised to power minus 2 by 3, it will become 1 upon 5 raised to power 2 by 3. We have another case also where the base is a rational number. We can say when x upon y is raised to power minus m upon n. So if we have to make this negative power as positive, we just have to reciprocate the base. So we will write y upon x raised to power m upon n. For example, if we have 2 upon 5 raised to power minus 3 upon 5, we can write it 5 upon 2 raised to power 3 upon 5. Now the seventh law of rational exponent is identity exponent. It says x raised to power 1 is equal to x. That means any rational number raised to power 1 is the same number. For example, 5 raised to power 1 is 5. Now the eighth law of rational exponent is 0 exponent. It says any rational number raised to power 0 is equal to 1. Now let us take an example. Suppose we have 7 raised to power 3 by 5 divided by 7 raised to power 3 by 5. Now according to the second law where we had question of powers, we subtract the powers. So here also we will subtract the powers. We will write 7 raised to power 3 by 5 minus 3 by 5 which is equal to 7 raised to power 0. So it became equal to 1. Or another way of looking at it is when we have same numerator and denominator we cancel each other and we get 1. So in this video we have learnt about the laws of rational exponents that is law 1 was product of powers, law 2 was quotient of powers, law 3 was power of power, law 4 was power of product and law 5 was power of quotient, law 6 was negative exponent, law 7 was identity exponent and law 8 was zero exponent. So hope you have understood all these laws of exponent. Thank you everyone.